solidity for the liquid separation. So, like I said, how do we describe complex natural phenomena, so that like the water falling and it is flying around or fire or smoke? It is hard to draw a vision by that. So, that's why we simulate the equations based on natural physics. So, for example, Newton's equation of motion, we can uh, program that in the computer and we can use that to simulate the real body. For example, you can also have radius flows equation for simulating fluid flow in the water. So now I'll be doing a lot of movies, so maybe you can play one. Yeah, so yeah, so so go to that uh, movie and then just play zero three lighthouse. Okay, and I'll tell you the tell you the movies which you need to play. Okay, and and tell me when the movies are playing. Okay. Next movie is the motion smoke. Zero four. Zero four. Yes, zero four. So tell me when you, when it, when you started the movie. Yeah. No, anybody has any question? What? Okay, great. And next movie. Okay, next movie is Fireball. Zero five. Yeah, yeah, we are doing, don't worry. Okay, I think it started, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we are, we're, yeah. Okay, Sumit, I just want to find out how, how, mu how much time we have there. Like, you know, how, uh, 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 Sir Kant, can you tell me, like, now in, in how many minutes we need to wrap up? Okay, I think then we don't have, uh, I think we, we might have uh, another six minutes. Okay, so I'll try to quickly walk through the rest of the time. Yeah, so uh, I think we don't see any movie right now, just, just maybe just walk through and then uh, conclusion. Yeah, uh, can you play the number 10 movie? Movie number 10. So let us know when the movie number 10 is playing. Okay. 
What happened? Okay. All he's trying to do is he's trying to specify the terrain and so trying to specify the pushes given to the character and that and the control algorithm developed by these researchers. So it is able to uh, simulate this character. So like I said, like robotics also, they share a similar goal that they want to create robots that can do these kind of behaviors that they can automatically walk by themselves. They can try to resist small changes in their environment. Like if somebody pushes, it should not just fall on the ground. It should be able to resist that or recover from that. So that's the goal for human character animation in computer graphics, which is very similar to robotics. Okay, so let me just quickly summarize uh, this brief introduction to graphics. So as, as you can see that we have a very vast and a very evolved field. So there is almost like around four decades of 40 years of research that has been done in this field. And it is hard to cover in one introductory course. And most of the things that I talked about today, you might not be able to learn about them in, in an intro course in computer graphics. So yeah, so be prepared for that. And as we talked that we, you can already see and you can already relate these things to a lot of other fields. And there is a lot of, uh, if you want to pursue research in computer graphics, there are a lot of requirements or a lot of different uh, knowledge that you want to have. So they, this may involve a lot of mathematics and a lot of physics. So as you can see for like simulation and lighting, it involves a lot of math and it involves like numerical, linear algebra, physics, and all these things. And it, in general, uh, computer graphics borrows a lot 